I was so tempted to not post a video this week because I realized that it's not starting something that's really the hard part. It's continuing to do something when you really feel like what you're doing is kind of like crap. But I'm gonna do it anyway. So a couple years ago, my wife and I wanted to take a little retreat and kind of get on the same page with a few things and get a chance to know who we are better and kind of plan out some of our future and um, just really dialogue and talk about our family and how we wanted to uh, proceed with our future. So one of the things we wanted to do is take some dedicated time to just plan out those things. And a good friend of mine, Jay Hidalgo, has a whole process that he walks um, different people through to, to go through this process. And it was an amazing weekend getaway. My wife, and, my wife and I got to put a lot of things down on paper, ask ourselves questions that we didn't even know to ask, and kind of walk through this process of how we want to build our family in the future. And one of the things that we did in this process was we took personality quizzes, or personality tests. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever taken a personality test before, but when we first did it, um, I got the little spit out, like the paragraph of kind of describing our personalities. And I was like, oh, this is pretty accurate to kind of who I am. Um, but I didn't, it wasn't like mind blowing or anything. Almost out of gas. But I just came across that booklet this past week when I was going through some old files and, and working on a few things. And I came across that personality test once again. And I went ahead and YouTube what my personality test came out to be. It was, I think it was a Myers-Briggs personality test. So there's all sorts of ones that you can do. Like you can do the Enneagram thing, you can do, I forgot which one it was talks about like if you're a beaver or if you're a lion or if you're a golden retriever or something like that. But the one we did consisted of different letters. And to be honest, I forgot all the different things. I just remember what mine was. And I looked it up on YouTube and I was like, oh my gracious goodness like that is exactly who I am I recognize that my personality was I N T J and I realize that that's like four percent of the population or something like that that like have that type of thing so it just confirmed how weird of a person I really am in real life but it also brought things to light like one of the things that I realized about my particular personality is that I'm a a bit of a perfectionist and I wouldn't I wouldn't personally call myself a perfectionist. I just don't like to do not good stuff. Like, if I'm if I want to make a YouTube video, I want it to look good. I want it to be, I want the audio to look good. I want the lighting to look good. I want the graphics and things like that across the bottom of the screen to look good. But sometimes you just don't have the opportunity to do that. And that's why it's so difficult for me to continuously put out content because I'm always in my own head of like, you know, I need to have this right before I do anything else. And I think just seeing that out in the video and seeing that out on paper that there's other people that actually think like me, and it helps me to realize what are my, some of my strengths and also some of the things that are not really my strengths. The people have different perspectives on how you should treat that. Some people say, well, you should look at your weaknesses and try to get better at those things. And I'm of the opinion that, yeah, I have some weaknesses that I definitely could improve on and do some you know, self work on. But the other philosophy that I more so adopt is that I'd rather double down on my strengths.